You know, folks, there are a million different kinds of spinning rods and reels to choose from. It really can be overwhelming trying to pick the right one out. Well, to help you figure out just how you're going to do it, we've come here to All Tackle in Annapolis, Maryland. Let's check out a few items specific to spinning rods. Now, here's a neat tip that most people don't know about. Every fishing rod has a spine. It's the strongest portion of the rod going up and down. You want to make sure the eyes of a rod are built along that spine. And by putting the tip on the ground and rolling it, of course, on carpet, not on concrete or another hard floor, you can feel where the stiffest part of the rod is and if the eyes are aligned along it. Now, there are plenty of rod and reel combinations on the racks of every tackle shop, but truth be told, you're better off picking out a reel that you really like and a rod that you really like and putting the two together. Of course, to get the proper feeling, you need to take your reel and put it on the rod and actually try it out for yourself. Now, to really feel the action of the rod, just waving it back and forth doesn't do much for you. You need a friend. Hey, Gary, could you come here and help me a sec? Fortunately, we got Gary hey, with Lenny. us here today. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. All right, now I want to feel the action on this rod. So Gary's going to hold his hand out for me, and I can use his hand as a stopping point to really feel how that rod's going to bend. Lenny, how do I know if this is the right reel for me? Well, there are a lot of little things to look for. First, spin it and feel if it wobbles. That tells you how well the reel is balanced. And then you want to pull the bail back and feel how smoothly it closes. And of course you want to feel the drag and make sure that's as smooth as possible too. Generally speaking, you get what you pay for. If you buy a cheap reel, you'll see a lot of different responses in this reel than if you spend a lot of money on it. Another detail to look for on your spinning gear is in the guides. These liners, these ceramic liners are excellent. They really cut down on line wear. Plain old metal, well, the truth of the matter is, it can wear on your fishing line a little bit. Now, the flip side of that is, with a straight metal guide, you don't have the possibility of the liner popping out, which can really ruin a rod. Gary, one final thing you want to look at is the grips. Some people prefer foam, some people prefer cork. Really isn't a big deal. It's more a matter of personal preference than anything else. But, you know, I think I've decided I want this one for myself. Would you hold on to that for me? You bet. Thanks. And I like this one, and this one. And this one, and this one, and this one, and these two, and this one. All right, I'm ready to go fishing.